Hello and welcome to the Android app step-by-step -step, uh, app development tutorial series. Today we are going to be making um, a pager adapter and basically what that's going to do is lay out um, the information that we've been putting into our um, data um, class onto the, uh, the actual layout of a page. So we're going to first make a new instance of this. Whoops. And it's going to, of course, complain that we don't have um, such a class. Um, and it's absolutely correct. We do not. <laughs> so we're going to make one. A new Java class, contemplate page or adapter. And the red lines are gone, so we did it correctly. Hooray! So um, to make an adopter, first a thing we have to do is, of course, um, actually extend the base Android pager class, extends pager adopter. Awesome. And of course, you don't have implemented any methods, so let's implement them. And these are not correct as is, but um, we will... Uh, fix it as time goes on. And first I'm just going to make an empty constructor for this. Um, I'm not sure why, but if I don't, um, it's going to complain at me eventually. Who knows why. <laughs> um, now for the bulk of the process, we're going to um, inflate the layout. Um, so we can start uh, at least initializing our text objects and so on and so forth. Override. All right. We want to override the instantiate item method um, or call or something. Instantiate or the app object, you know, thing. So our view group is going to be. Uh, we're just going to call it the. Uh, whoops. View group. And we're just going to call it the sort of generic container integer position. That's going to be the position of the data items that we're going to get. I think that's it. Awesome. And we're going to, it's telling us to, we have to uh, import it. So let's import this class. Awesome. It's done. So now let's uh, inflate our view. We're just going to call it generic view. So layout inflator um, and it's from, and we're gonna have to make this layout later. Uh, we have have not, you know, actually got it yet. Get context, uh, context. There you are. Out uh, complete, and then um, we want to inflate this layout, which we haven't made it. Yeah, we want to. I'm just gonna call it our layout, and we're gonna call it layout for the pager of the contemplates class. You know, something easy peasy. And I'm not sure what that parameter does, but it's always false. Okay, so it can't resolve it because we haven't imported the class. Let's import this class. Yes, now we inflate it, and let's return a view. Great. So now, of course, it's complaining that it doesn't have a layout, and that's what we're going to do now. Um, we're going to make a layout so we have somewhere to put um, the data values that we just made in the last couple videos. Layout pager contemplate. Awesome. Here you are. Why is it still? Oh, okay, now it's happy. Um, so... If you look at the XML, um, it's first the linear layout. Um, I'm going to make a relative. I've never gotten the hang of linear. It just does not suit me. I don't, I don't see what the point is. Um, I really prefer um, this thing. And we're just going to drop two large text boxes. There you are. <laughs> um, and we're going to call this one. Um, we're going to call it text box name. Because that's where our name variable, and in case you've forgotten, um, we have two variables, name and description, that we're going to be putting into the text boxes. 
So, whoops, where we go? So, TechSock's name, and of course, it's unhappy because we just changed its name. Great, and we're going to call the second text box text box a uh, description. Great. Let's just um, change the uh, default text. We won't see this. Um, we actually run the app, but it's just for rendering purposes, so we know uh, where objects are. Okay, so that's good. Um, so now let's uh, first, I think, we might only have time in this video to initialize the various text views. So first text box, initialize second text box. I'll try to get as far as we can, but, you know, um, I'm a slow typer. Text box. Text view. Uh, view. Uh, find by ID. And we call it r.id. And we called it, I think we call it text box name. Yes. And we have not imported text view yet, so let's import this class. Awesome, it shows up here. And we're also going to do the same thing for a second text box. So text view. Ah, what happened? No, I didn't want that. Control, controls, Z. <laughs> text view, a text box description is equal to text view. Ah, no, I did it again. Text view. View, uh, find by ID, r.id.textbox description. Okay, so we initialized these, and now um, we're going to, uh, in my next video, we're going to get the values from the contemplate class, um, wait, the contemplate data class. These, we're going to get these things, and then we're going to set them to a text box. All right, see you in the next video.